anyways. <clears throat> they just released a study. This will bless Bruno, I think. They just released a study that more people are healed in a Catholic church than Pentecostal churches. No, it's a fact. That's an absolute fact. The studies have proven it. Because Catholic people revere the Eucharist. More people get healed in a Catholic church during communion than Pentecostals during church attendance or communion because to us it's symbolic. Well, Jesus didn't say, this is symbolic of my body. He said, this is my body. He didn't say, this is symbolic of my blood. He said, this is my blood. And I believe, I always have believed that in the spirit it is his body. In the spirit it's his blood. So you revere it. There's healing in communion. Absolutely. I've seen it happen in my own ministry. And there's healing in the Catholic churches because these people are devoted and show up every Sunday. They don't church hop. We hop. They don't. That's why we're sick and many of them are healed. Miraculous. I mean, powerful stuff going on in those churches, Catholic churches. People just miracles like you can't believe. Miracles are breaking out today in Coptic churches in Egypt for the same reasons. You ought to go on YouTube and look up Father Makari. It'll blow your head off in a good way. You'll see miracles you can't believe in his ministry. I met that amazing man, Makari. Just put the word Makari. MCC or MKK, it'll come out, whatever. There's not a whole lot of Makaris out there. You'll see the miracles. You'll see the people getting free from demons by the thousands. Muslims come into his meetings and he walks with his cross and chants in the Coptic language and sticks his cross on their heads and they get healed. Wow. Amazing. Because they believe, as I believe, you must be faithful to your church. It's all about the church. I think we miss that in our Pentecostal circles. So, any among you, sick, in the church, come to the elders, and the guarantee is you will be healed. Not maybe, you will be healed, and additionally, your sins be forgiven. It's all in the Bible. 